Hi everyone, I thought I would make a quick video for you with one additional example of using Flurry's algorithm to find an Euler path or a circuit. So here is a graph. Um, this is figure 1435 from your textbook. And the first thing we need to do is use Euler's theorem to decide if an Euler circuit or path is even possible. Alright, so using Euler's theorem, we need to look at the degrees of the vertices and see which case we have. Do we have two even ones? Do we have, oh, I'm sorry, um, all even. All even vertices, or exactly two odd and the rest even, or more than two odd. Okay, so looking at vertex A, there are two edges meeting at vertex A, so that has degree of 2. All right, that's even. Vertex B has three edges coming into it, so that's degree 3. All right, so that one's odd. Um, C is degree 3. Okay, so we have um, two odd so far, so hopefully we don't have any more or this won't be possible. Um, D is degree 2, G is degree 6, F is degree 2, and E is degree 2. Alright, so we have exactly two odd vertices, which means that we don't have an Euler circuit, but we do have an Euler path, and we know that it's going to either start at B and end at C, or start at C and end at B. Okay, so then let's use Flurry's algorithm to find um, the path or circuit. All right, so you can start at either B or C, and I'll just I'll just start at B. All right, now we have a choice of edges. So using the algorithm, we have to choose one that is not a bridge for the part of the graph that's not numbered. All right, so the, right now the whole thing is unnumbered. So I'm just looking to see if this edge AB is a bridge, or if BC is a bridge. And in this case, neither are, so we can choose either one. So I'll go to A and number this one. Okay, and then at A, I don't have a choice of edges, so I continue on to G. All right, and at G, we definitely do have a choice. All right, so if I look at the part of the graph that's unnumbered, all right, I'll just quickly sketch this. And look at the edges that we have to choose from. All right, so picture um, if if like GB is a bridge, right? Then picture erasing that. Oops. From the unnumbered part of the graph and see if it's still connected. And it is, so that's not a bridge. Oops. All right. So um, GC, if I erase that, graph is still connected, so that's not a bridge. Right, GD, I could use that one. Everything's still connected. Or GE. All right, that's okay. And GF, that's not a bridge either. All right, so um, any of these edges would be fine to go ahead and use. All right, so let's continue on. I'll go back to B. I'll call that 3. And then at B, I don't have a choice, so I continue on to C. Right. At C, I have a choice, so I'm going to look at the part of the graph that's unnumbered. So that would be kind of this, this triangular, two triangular shaped pieces. All right, um, so I have two edges that I could choose. And if we erase this one, the graph is still connected. All right, so that's not a bridge. And erasing this one, still connected, so that's not a bridge. All right, so I will continue on. Uh, let's see, to here, all right, to D, that's edge 5, and then from D, continuing on to G, that's 6. Okay, so now I have a choice again, so let's look at the part that's unnumbered. And here I think we do have an edge that we can't choose. So here's the part that's unnumbered. All right, and we have F, E, G, and C still for vertices. Okay, so it's edges that are not numbered, and then uh, the vertices that go along with them. 
Okay, so I'm trying to choose, and let's say that I choose GC next. Well, if you erase that, I notice now that this graph is not connected. I have vertex C that's disconnected from the other piece that's left. All right, so that means you can't choose GC. And hopefully, I think you'll notice, you know, let's say you did choose that one, then notice that you're stuck when you get to C. There's no way to continue on and use the rest of the edges in the graph. So I think even if you can't see that it's a bridge, um, you should still be able to to tell that that's not the, the way that you want to go. All right, um, the other two, let's try those. All right, if we choose GF as the edge, that's not a bridge. And choosing GE, that's okay too, that's not a bridge. All right, so I'll go to GE, G to E, that's edge 7. And then I don't have a choice, continue on to F. And then from F to G, and then from G to C is edge 10. All right, so notice um, we did end at C and start at B, just like the um, Euler's theorem told us that we would. All right, so that's how you would use Fleury's algorithm. I hope that was helpful. If you still have questions, then post on the, the Q&A discussion board, and you may want to just talk through some of the other examples that you find in the textbook.